President Mike Pence spent a full day in Minnesota today. He started at a farm near Fargo and then visited Gerdell Steel in St. Paul this afternoon. Esme Murphy is at the plant right now. So, Esme, what kind of reception did the vice president get? Well, I want to let you know that the vice president left about half an hour ago. They're breaking down the stage right now. Overall, it was a very warm reception. Not quite, though, the rock star reception President Trump has gotten in recent Minnesota visits. Now, the vice president did visit the Gerdau plant. He toured the entire plant, looking at the manufacturing of the steel beams that are made here that are used all over the world. Executives here say since the president took office, they have added 400 jobs across the country, and they credit the president's policies in part for that. That. The vice president was here to promote the president's new North American trade agreement, which still has to be approved by Congress. The new U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement, or USMCA, would impose stiff tariffs on imported steel. The vice president says the trade agreement will help continue the record growth of new jobs in the U.S. I'm actually told that 2018 was not only the best year for manufacturing job creation in more than 20 years, it actually marked the highest level of optimism among manufacturers ever. I mean, manufacturing has come roaring back thanks to the policies that we've been advancing under this president's leadership. Now, this is the fifth time in just 10 months that either the president or vice president has visited Minnesota, and local Republicans will tell you that is evidence that the president is looking very hard and plans to win Minnesota in the 2020 presidential election. And he came very close in 2016, losing the state by only 50,000 votes. And the vice president said repeatedly here today that the president's pro-growth and pro-manufacturing policies are reasons why workers here and across the country should support him. All right, Esme, thank you. Minnesota Democrats say what Trump and Pence are saying just isn't so. They argue that the president's trade plan is hurting the state's rural communities most of all. Uh, farmers have invested millions of dollars through our checkoff programs to develop markets for our corn and livestock and built a reputation as a trusted trading partner to countries like China, Mexico, and Canada. Uh, with a stroke of a pen, or maybe I should say a few tweets, uh, our foreign markets were gone. DFL Chair Ken Martin says that crop prices are down and fa farm bankruptcies are up. And because of that, he says that Minnesota will continue its longest unbroken record of voting for a Democrat for president.